Hi, I'm Jean. And I'm Sarah. I'm Goodman, she's Strobel, and together we, we create. create. And we're here to spread a cup of kindness your way. Show them that cup. Oh, oh this that's is, a nice cup. Yeah, this is my last year's Festival of the Arts Cup. And now we're just <laughs> under the festival. <laughs> yeah, there's coffee in there. There we go. Well, I got to start little arms, you know. <laughs> you got that's the camera nice a little one. higher. <laughs> we put the camera a little higher so my double chin shows <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> so anyway, and hopefully we today. On books. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. She yelled at me for looking so short. Well, what the heck am I supposed to do? <laughs> Go to the stretching room in the basement? <laughs> so anyway, hopefully today we'll get a new cup from the Festival of the Arts and we can share that cup of kindness with you next week too. Yes, mom was worried all last oh, week. Well, as you notice, she used the clicker on me to shut me off, and I didn't get to wish you a week of kindness. So I hope everything went fine for you. Yes, and we had a viewer who thought when I attempt to do our cup of kindness in a cross stitch that you should be wearing blue. Yes, and sparkly. And with your sparkly necklace. So thank you for taking my side in this. Mm -hmm. Team I, Jean, here yeah, they come. I should be the first cross stitch. There you go. Oh, that's going to be a challenge. You want to get started on that right away? I was anticipating cross-stitching a person. <laughs> well, it's not a person. It's your mother. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> right. She um really been quite an overachiever this week. and Oh, I cut my bangs this morning. And I see them moment. Um, <laughs> you should have let me do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, you do a fine job. Not a problem. So, so what I if finished. you... I finished our, uh, <laughs> what is it called? I'm drawing a blank. Cherry Hill Stitch <laughs> There it is. Yeah. And, and I got it all done. I just love it. I love the two color tones of the pinks and the two color the tones greens. of the green. Yeah. All joking aside, so it's absolutely gorgeous. We're going to get this one uh, framed. Well, not, you know, how we do it. Yeah. But it won't be in a little house. <laughs> No, we're being in a big house. Yeah, being in a big no. house. We're in a mansion. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious to see how this one turns out because we, you have a couple ideas, but I'm just yeah. kind of, we're going to go with the flow and see what happens with this one. I'm so excited to see that. Did so you, that was a Do finish. they know what it said? Did you hold it? Because it's such a pretty saying too. <laughs> You're going to make me be backwards. Yeah, you can. First we had each other, then we had you. Now we have everything. As you yeah, said, it's, it's so pretty. Yeah. You know, the coloring, everything perfect. is. And fabric, mom, coffee dyed. So I just yeah. love the randomness of that. There's that. And what else? I finished another one of the books, the children's books. And this one is just so soft and snuggly. And we're using some nice blue plaid for the uh, binding. I think it finishes off the book so nice. So I got that done. The machine got a little cranky on me as I was trying to uh, sew the middle part. Now my other book, the machine just sewed right through, no mm -hmm. problems whatsoever, but this time it just decided to get cranky. and So I had to uh, redo that a fixed. couple of times, but I did, I got it fixed and it's all good to go. Um, so there's that one. It's just so soft and we put the batting in the middle. Yeah, maybe your 80-20 um, batting was a little thicker. <laughs> maybe. Oh gosh, and then there's, I don't know if this is good or not, but we were just shy, a tiny little bit of batting. And so I um, I stitched the two pieces of batting together using the zigzag. I forgot that. Um, yeah. Using the zigzag stitch on the sewing machine, and it seemed to hold it together just fine. And it didn't, sh you don't feel it oh, in no, here. Oh, no, it's just nice and yeah. smooth. It turned into a whole new sheet. So, yeah. anyway, there's one page in here that's kind of uh, pieced together with batting, but you can't tell. It, it worked out really well. So, those are my two finishes this week. What have you got going on? I'm still, <laughs> still you working never said on anything it. about my necklace. Well, she's trying to outshine me, so I went a little less sparkly. She doesn't like my necklaces, so I thought I'd put this one on. She yeah, might like this one. Yeah, that one's so nice. You look very nice. <laughs> It'll be off as soon as, the, as soon as we're done. Gone. You can't stand anything that makes it's a heavy. little noise. It makes noise. Want. No, I don't like it. And this one, listen. Yeah, see, it's 
too noisy. See, and me, I like it noisy. I like people know I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Be prepared. <laughs> so I finished the dream part of this. I ended up and took all the pink out in the D That's right. Because I didn't like it. You had I a whole cup full of... I just didn't even like it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So now I did a second one. And if you remember, this outside border wasn't there, but we added it or added it. And this is going to have the bluey green heart in here and then some flowers down here. And then I'm just trying to decide now I'm going to do one more and then make a wall plaque out of this. Yes. Yeah. So. And this is using size uh, 11 on Ada, I believe. Okay. And because this is mom's first one. So we went with a, a larger size. But yeah. I ordered for you. A uh, count of 10. So it's a tiny bit smaller. This oh, is 11. Yeah. So I thought that would be a nice transition. And yeah. see how the 10 works. I ordered that from the Fat Quarter Shop. So that should be coming. Oh, nice. It was like thank $3 you. $3.50. It was on sale. Oh, thank so like, you. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I'm, I'm having fun working on it. So I'm enjoying it. And you changed the color on the heart, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Because I didn't, I didn't care for the color. changing the colors. Yeah. Which is perfect. Yeah. Because, you know, we had the dilemma over the guacamole last <laughs> I just, you know, she just does, she just can't read the charts. She no, just needs I, to pick her colors and, and go. go. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that's what I like about. You look at guacamole, but you must have went down to the next must, number. My eyes must have been yeah. crazy yeah. on me. Or I think that's what happened. Yeah, and you know, cross stitching patterns—they just think you know how to do this. You know, if you sew with a pattern and sew a dress or anything, it's very simple because they have everything laid out. You take the piece, you put the piece. Yeah. This you have to guess. So I'm just doing my own thing. You have to guess. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? Well, I've got one more book that I'm starting. So I've got all the pieces cut out. This is the unicorn book. Um, let me get the first page. So I've got all the pieces cut out. And as you can see, they're scraggly. We need to iron and prepare for the sewing and the batting. So we've got all those. And then we took quite a, quite a good amount of time yeah, trying nice. to figure out what color batting, or not batting, what color binding we wanted to go. We had a yellow, because there is plenty of yellow as we went through each page. We're noticing there's plenty of yellow, and we thought, well, oh, yellow might work nice. And then we also tried pink, and we quickly eliminated the pink. Yeah. We thought pink was going to be the way to go. But then we had a piece of fabric. I should have had it with me. But it's the color of the unicorn's legs there. That really soft, tealy blue. Mm -hmm. And we thought, okay. And it matched perfect. Yeah, so we put that up against most of the pages. And then we also randomly chose a purple. And purple won. As we put it up with all of the, as we put it up with all of the pages, it just seemed like purple was gonna be well, the it, best match. Mom it, thought it was a little brighter because the yeah. book has got a lot of darkness, it's darkness. to it. Mm -hmm. And it brings out the purple and the flowers and the mm -hmm. picture over here. Yeah, so I'm gonna have that done next week. And so I've got all of the binding strips cut, two and a half inches. And then now I'm just gonna sew them all together and do some ironing and get that all going. Yeah. So that will be really nice. Um, so that's a project I started. The unicorn book. Oops, lost a page. Don't want to lose page. No. And then, what else? The simplicity. I was working on the Little House Needlework. <laughs> simplicity was so funny. Oh, my sheep. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't be my laughing. Sheep. Okay, <laughs> because... so this is what it is. And, and, you know, at first glance, it looks pretty good. We got simplicity with a heart. And we got the little tree and, and the, <laughs> the legs of the sheep and... And then I counted up eight stitches and started the head of the sheep. But I realized the head of the sheep, I started it on the wrong leg. <laughs> so my sheep should actually be over further, closer to the tree by about three squares. So I think I need to take it out. Well, and I said just take a leg out and give it <laughs> three legs and she didn't go for that. <laughs> so just move her leg over. Yeah, move like, the leg no, over. And then my heel will be all off. And, and then it's like, well, can I just leave the sheep and just have the head in a different position? But I think I might just take it out. And then the you sheep doesn't, that goes. There's, doesn't have a neck then. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, I do love this. It yeah, we were just, talking, watching TV, and she was crochet. Uh, <laughs> what is it we do? 
we crossed. Oh yeah, that's right. We crossed it. <laughs> I got through it. <laughs> yeah, so I was cross stitching, and usually when I cross stitch and try to watch TV, I make a mistake. <laughs> that's why I need to have like an audio book going or something, or a game show on in the background where you don't have to pay attention. But it's okay. As I look at this, I think I might be able to leave it, but I'll probably check it out. But there it is, the simplicity. I love it from Little House Needleworks. That's number six in their series of 12. And then... And is that the fourth one? That's the fourth one I've done. Mm -hmm. I've started. And then, of course, I'm working on the Teresa Colgate's Fresh Farm Eggs. And I, I have not done anything on this all week. So next week, hopefully, we'll at least see a G popping in. Well, yeah, you little slacker. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, what happened? And it's like, he just kind of got put in the dust, and I didn't work on him. So anyway, there will be more done on that. And I started to kit up another one um, since I finished the Cherry Hill Stitchery piece. I like to get another one started. And so I'm starting the Lizzie Kate Never Give Up, Make It Happen. There it is. Um, so I don't have anything on that. I just started kidding it up. So that's what I've got going over here. Um, I did also work on Greg's stocking. I like to do just a little bit each week on that. I've got the football added. Oh, I forgot to stuff him, stuffed. so then I had to open him back up and stuff him. And um, Right now, I'm working on the golf bag, which is going to come on down here somewhere. Um, yeah, over here. So what I've got done here is, see, it's three, it was actually four pieces because you sew this handle on separately. And then, so that's the back, and then this is the front, and I've got the embroidery done. Now I just need to add the sequins here and add some sequins here. And then there's some sequins, and so there's one more piece that goes on, and you just piece it all together. And then there's some sequence that goes here, and then we sew it all together, and then you leave the top open, and then you got to put the little golf clubs in there so they can stick Does out. Does that get to be stuffed, too? Uh, yes, this does get stuffed. Nice. I think everything is getting stuffed in this. So, yeah, that's there's the golf bag. It's coming. It's going to come together really nicely. Here's what the finished product looks like. It's so cute. It is. Speaking of Greg... The other couple days ago, Sarah says, what do you want for supper? And I'm sitting over here and I'm using mental telepathy. Goulash, 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 make your goulash, it's so good. Goulash, I thought, I'm going to get through that thick brandy. It's goulash, goulash. And out of his mouth comes, why don't you make that Brussels sprout salad with the egg on top of it? Oh my God, I was sick. <laughs> oh my God, how they can eat this stuff. <laughs> they shave up Brussels sprouts and... Oh, it's so good. Brussels sprouts with the dried cranberries. And there's a sauce you put on there with... It's honey, orange juice, a little vinegar. Um, and then in addition to that, you've got... Yeah, you put the egg on top oh, of it. Oh, God, And yeah. the Brussels sprouts. It was a salad we had at a pub in New York. So I came home and looked it up and found a recipe similar. And we love it. I just want to make it very clear. I did not raise her this way. <laughs> How did this happen? How did this happen? I don't know. But anyway, I never got my goulash. Yeah, she needless, needless to say, she had her own dinner that night. Yeah, you can of tomato that. soup. Can of tomato soup. <laughs> and it was good. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Yes, he wanted goulash. I'll have to make goulash this week in honor of mental telepathy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, in addition to the Busilla Christmas stocking, I ordered a Busilla garland, and this is going to be fun. I think it's going to be quick, quick to make, too. It's Santa's garland. He's got all of his clothes hanging up. We've got his Santa hat, and his undershorts, and his scarf, and mittens, and his pants, of course, and his socks, and his jacket. <laughs> and so that's just going to be just really adorable. cute. And even the little clothes pins are are stitched up yeah. felt. I was thinking about possibly buying real close pins instead of the felt ones, but we'll see when it gets all done. Mom thinks she might tackle some of these yeah, pieces. Yeah, I think that's we cute. Do, this one might be a good one to do together. Yeah. She can, let's see, what would you start with? I think the socks might be fun for you to start with, or the Santa hat. Yeah. Oh, and his pins, all of them are cute. Yeah, the they're scarf, all cute. Any of them. 
You might have a little hard time though, in all seriousness. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because threading that needle oh, for the bee. God. I'm getting really, I'm getting better at that now. But it's tricky. That needle is tiny. It goes yeah. through those tiny little the plastic be. beads. Um, but I'll anyway. just have to use a really long thread. So I don't have to thread it so often. Oh gosh. <laughs> there you go. You do what works. <laughs> yeah, this is really cute. I really do want to try that, but I got to perfect my cross stitching. And... Oh yeah. Hey, I got it right. Cross stitching. <laughs> First time on. You got it. Well, she got some awesome stuff in the mail this week. Yeah. So I ordered from a site on Etsy called Lady Dot Creates. And she creates all kinds of lace and pom-pom ribbons and She's like us. She ribbons. creates. She creates. You're right. Oh, I never thought of that. Here's a cup Lady. of kindness to Lady Dot. <laughs> Lady Dot. There you go. So um, I ordered some lace and I ordered this one uh, called Dirty Face. And she hand dyes these and I just thought this is perfect. Look at it. It's just random spots <laughs> like that is just so vintage looking I love it so um so I ordered this one and then I ordered a little darker color this one's called Buster Brown that one's really a pretty I know brown. that's gonna pop really nice on yeah. anything you do and then I got just a real pale pale pink called Petticoat so in addition to like multiple different kinds of laces she's got I've been looking for pom-pom trim, but I don't care for like the large, the ones you find at Joann's and Hobby Lobby because they're just seem, they seem too big for our little projects that we do. Um, the Little House Needleworks and the Lizzie Kate. They well, might they work just on won't... some Lori Holtz because hers are a little bigger. But um, still the top ones are always going to hang down and just, this well, is perfect, so but that would be I've all right, been looking, I guess. Yeah, I've been looking for little miniature tiny pom-poms and I found them at Lady Dot Creates. Um, let me pull. Look at how little they are. Aren't they so sweet? Cute. I mean, they're just tiny. If you look, you look next to my pinky. They're just tiny. Um, and I think those are going to go. I mean, it's so pretty. You don't even have to hide this part. <laughs> You know what I mean? No, it is. What are you laughing at? I was wondering if you put that nail color on to match your tops. It's clear. Yeah, it just went so nice with it. Oh, boy. I'm like, oh, is my nail dirty? Oh, no, um, no, 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 no. So no. I picked up a bunch of different colors of this pom-pom trim. I thought, as long as I'm ordering, let's just do it in one shot. So I just shoved it in there. But here's another one. This one's called Toast. It's a little darker. Now, when and, you ordered this, mm -hmm. can you order like just one yard or is there a minimum no, of two it's, yards? No, you, you order them by these bags and it's, and it's two, two yards. yards. Okay, this got it. This one's called Vintage. Vintage. And then I got some pink, pink tones. Um, they're called Pink Barn Door and Ballerina. Pink Barn Door and Ballerina here. So there's a couple different pink tones that I've got. And then I did a green. That's called Mossy. That one's really, really Yeah, I thought really these pretty. would go with just about anything yeah. we do. And then I got, this orange wasn't, it looked different online. But this will look um, really look like nice come Halloween the time, time and the, yeah. fall, the fall time. Yeah. It's very true. Something with marigolds. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'll look really nice. Very nice. And then we have a grape fizz. That's a cool color. I like that one. And this one's a little brighter than I thought too, but it'll work out really nicely. This one's called Polar Polar Ice. And then I've got, I don't know, we're kind of, um, this is the color of it. I don't know how to pronounce that. Anna, anemone? I don't know. But this is the color. We're torn. I think it's a gray. Mom thinks it has a little bit of blue in it. Um, yeah, it kind of depends on how the light hits it. And black. So this was really fun. And her shipping, I mean, she got this shipped immediately. The postal service said it was going to arrive late. But it really, it only arrived like two days later. Yeah. Than anticipated. You can't blame that on her. No. Um, so and she got it right she out. She had those right out. I mean, so we had wonderful service. 
um, on that. And so I'm excited to use those. Hopefully you'll see those put to use um, on, on the Simplicity or on the, the Cherry Hill Stitchery sign mm. I just finished. That's a perfect color for that new book you're going to be doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, so this is really cute. Yeah, Lady Dot Creates. Maybe you've all heard of her. I follow someone on Instagram. She finishes cross stitches, and that's how I heard about Lady Dot Creates, because she um, gave her credit, and she uses some of her stuff um, when she finishes her cross stitches, too. So that's just so fun that everyone's sharing sharing uh, different ideas, and I love it. Well, this week, we had a little dilemma. Or oh, I had a little dilemma. Yeah, there was no we in this. My <laughs> week was really good. <laughs> well, it wouldn't have been a dilemma if I didn't have to cook myself. Oh, oh. So. If I didn't have to cook myself. <laughs> I was yeah. in the kitchen and I was using the big... Actually, I think the truth of the whole story... Oh, gosh. ...is that Sarah and Greg had cooked and they didn't wash the frying pan before they left for the park. So I was getting things picked, you know, <laughs> picked up a little bit in the kitchen because normally they do that, so I wanted to. I'm usually very tidy. Well, yeah, but they were in a hurry. Park was opening. <laughs> Had to get there. Park was closing. Oh, we had to get yeah. there. So I wash the frying pan by hand and I dry it and then I just walk across the kitchen to put it away. And for some reason, I dropped it. You dropped the pan. Oh my God. It damn near, it's like darn near slice <laughs> oh, no. my big toe off. <laughs> Two toes are so black and blue you can hardly <laughs> tell their toes. And it was like she really didn't care when I told her, you know? So, then, yeah. Well, know. I fall down, you keep walking. Well, I <laughs> figured, drop a pan, I just keep laughing. I figured God <laughs> got back at me for making fun of her being a California raisin on the table. <laughs> but anyway, the pan was not hurt, the tile didn't break on the floor, and my toes didn't break, but they're sure black and blue. You got proof it happened. Well, that's, that's good. Sure. There's proof. That's good. Yeah. You have something to show for it. I do. I do. <laughs> so I need to be a little more careful. Or I've always said housework will kill you. I don't know why I even try it. Housework will kill you? <laughs> oh, yeah. I told that to a lady once. I said, you know, Florence, you're always cleaning. I said, that housework will kill you. Well, lo and behold, two days later, she goes out on her back step to shake her rugs, and she slipped on the ice, broke her leg, and oh no! I couldn't help but tell her, Florence, I told you, <laughs> it's going to kill you. Oh. Uh, so, well, it's been a good week. Have we done anything else? You've been working a lot this week. I've been working a lot yes. this week. Yeah, that's going to come to a ceasing halt. Yes, and I got back to work this week because we were on vacation yes. for two weeks. So we all kind of got back to work. You went back like... Major. Full, yeah, major. Yeah. Full-time. You're supposed to be part-time. Well, yeah. So um, now I'm going to no. take a little time off and relax. There you go. And No, nothing too major going on this week. Hopefully next be quiet, week which is we'll... good. Tell you how much fun the Festival of the Arts was. For you who are not familiar with it, they bring in just artists from all over the United States. And there, their, it's not just Disney art. Right. You know, it's all different styles of art. Yeah. And uh, I'll, I'll post some of those, my favorite artist pictures on our Instagram page. That'll be fun. Yeah. Um, so Last year, go. Sarah bought me a beautiful painting from there. And what is there, 33 different yeah. It's a tree in Epcot Village, and there's like yeah. 33 or so many different. Um... Got it right here. Oh, all right. Let's take it right off. Yeah. Ooh, we got lots of reflections on it. But, but hidden oh. all in here are different characters, and you can see them. 53 hidden 50... items. Yeah. So they're, they hide items that are pertinent to Disney. So what does it say here? We've got like. A palette and a paintbrush, and Elsa, and the food and wine logo, a music note logo. So there's just all different stuff. And on this here. was the last year they did illuminations, uh, fireworks. 
And it was always my favorite fireworks, and the ball is no longer at Epcot. So the picture means a lot to me. I really like it. It's hard to tell from way back here, but it's one of those pictures you have to really get up close. Yeah, and like Mickey's right here in that cloud. and Yeah. Yeah, you it's can just subtle. look. You, yeah, you, you know don't see it. Picture. Yeah, not at all. So it'll be fun. So we're hoping to find something really outstanding there. Something yeah. inspiring. There's one right. artist that does all the resin art. It's unbelievable. It's, it's like just, she's a scientist and she uses yeah. her scientific knowledge to create this art using resin mm -hmm. and, and glitter. Um, and Oh, it's oh, gorgeous. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to grab a couple pictures of that. And uh, yeah. And, uh, and then they have be... all kinds of uh, art for food. I mean, it's all colorful and mm -hmm. made like roses and. Oh, yeah. If you need one a chocolate chip cookie, it's shaped like in an um, artist paint palette. palette. It looks and just then, like an artist palette. Yeah, and then they dab frosting of different colors Red, on yellow, there. blue. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So and then fun. if you want, if you have the kids, um, you can get that the the frosting in little cups, and then they give you a paintbrush so the kids mm -hmm. can paint on their cookie mm -hmm. using the frosting. It's just so sweet. There's so many fun things to do. This is our favorite festival. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Normally they have Broadway entertainers here five days a week. Oh, seven days. Seven a week. days a week. Yeah, seven days a week. And of course this year they won't be here because no. of COVID. They'll but... hire Disney singers to do some performing. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll be fun. So we're gonna go and explore Epcot today. Yeah. So we'll uh, tell you about our little adventures on that next week. Yeah, and let's see. I'm sure we got into some kind of trouble. I just can't think of it right now. It's been kind of a- We blocked it out. Blocked it out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, we got the we got the hanger for mom's quilt oh, too. Oh, yeah. Alicia, do you want me to get that quick? Sure, I can, oh, okay. Yeah, and- um because you know we're novice at this I sewed the back all on to run it through not knowing that when you get these I'll give it to you. when you get these the hanger well, doesn't open up the specific one we ordered yeah you? and I'm glad we got this one because this little round thing makes it nice and strong so I just I'm so this. this. Round thing. You mean the dowel? The dowel. <laughs> I'm like, what's she talking about? This little round thing. A little round We're thing. We're playing Clue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then I re sewed this on and it hangs beautifully on the wall. And we really enjoy this. This one oh, really yeah. came out. Nice. Yeah, it looks great. I'm anxious to do another one. Right <laughs> maybe then. we'll put it right here so we have some decoration, <laughs> right? We really <laughs> should get something. Oh, maybe we can find a picture at the art. Oh, festival. I was thinking of like this big full size wall mirror, and then I got thinking, yeah, no, that won't work good. A mirror. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that'll kind of reflect. Yeah, that won't, that won't <laughs> yeah, work. That won't work. Yeah, no, we won't all. put no, a mirror. I think that'd be really that. pretty, though, on this back dining room wall, just this big mirror, but we won't be doing that. No. Unless if we change our spot where we do our videos. We could, but this is fun. Yeah. We get a yeah. nice view. Yeah. <laughs> but they don't. Well, that's true. But they get us. <laughs> they get us. Okay. Yeah. What more could they want? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, so hopefully fun. we'll have some good meals this week. And Was I'm, that a hint for me to get a menu board that's... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's time to, for you to start showing your menu board again. You know, she's oh, been okay. slacking on that. Oh yeah, another viewer thought we should do an, uh, you know, write a book, but they thought it should be an audio book. So that would be good. It. Yeah, because it's easier for me just to talk than write it down and think. Oh, we did. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the Swan Sky. The what? Swan Sky. Oh, Swan Sky. <laughs> we used to always get swans and... <laughs> they have this truck with a swan on it and they come around with good food that you buy. Oh my God, we had ice cream that was so good this week. <laughs> and little sliders and handles, but you said they were really good. Little Angus cheeseburger sliders. <laughs> so we've been slack in the last week, just kind of pulling stuff out of the freezer and eating. Drumsticks and signature cream, mint ice cream and... Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Go. Oh, and these little cups that were cookies and cream <laughs> with ooh, ooey gooey <laughs> chocolate sauce on it. Oh. Oh, oh, it's really good. What's it come? Every two weeks? Every two weeks yeah. on Monday. Got another you got week another to week go. to go. <laughs> so that was exciting. That was fun. We haven't had swans for decades. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's been at least 10 years. Yeah, so that was yeah. that was exciting. We were walking around the neighborhood and we saw the truck and we're like, oh, we should try that again. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen him around. And Calvin was so nice when he came to Calvin. the door. It was his, yes, that Calvin was Calvin. Is his name. Yeah. Calvin's his name, oh. And he said, even if you don't place an order, I'll stop. <laughs> stop <laughs> by and see ya. Yeah. I bet he will. <laughs> A funny story with the swans years ago was that my dad said, you know, that if they don't ask you if you want ice cream after you place your order, they have to give you a free gallon of ice cream. Well, we never ordered ice cream, you know, like a gallon of ice cream. So one day my dad was there and the Swans guy came and, you know, we placed our order for French Whatever. toast sticks and all this kind of stuff. They used to have good pizza burgers. And... When he left, you know, he said, thank you, but he didn't ask if he wanted any ice cream. And boy, my dad would not let that go. He said, you get out there and tell him. Well, that swans man was so mad and he had to bring He never us. came back. He never came back. He never he, came back. He brought us the ice cream and he said, you guys never order ice cream. Oh, well, that's when you never asked us. <laughs> so anyway, we never saw him again because he got upset that we got. So I wonder if they still do that promotion, but we won't. We won't, Tom. I'll, Try ask, to get I'll, I'll ask Calvin. We should tell Calvin that story. <laughs> I will he tell might Calvin. appreciate it. Yeah. So anyway, that was our that was our fun little story for the week. Yeah, cheating on our menus, going easy this week. Even well, the last couple of weeks we've been going easy, just plopping things in the oven and pulling them out of the freezer. Yeah. Yeah. Running the store, getting. Oh, I haven't got a Panera, cinnamon roll in a while. Oh, we have a new donut shop opened up. Yes, we do. So I might have to try that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you better you better share oh. a cup of kindness so you don't. And worry. this is having a cup of kindness your way the whole week. And we'll see you next week. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you tell your friends because I'm still hoping for the cake from YouTube. <laughs> and I got to be nice so they don't shut my channels down. So <laughs> Well, and you just swore on this episode. I know. So this may be the last time you see us because they might shut my channel down. So I'll be more careful next time. I'm sure I'm going to be bruised from where she bought me. <laughs> Have a great week. Yeah. We'll yeah. see you we'll next see time. See you next week. Bye now. Bye. Cup of kindness your way. <laughs> I didn't cut you off. <laughs>